I am Sarah Murphy. I am the main coordinator for the Welcome Circles program. And I've been with Catholic Charities for about a year now, but specifically with Welcome Circles for the past six months. The USCCB, the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops, partnered with a entity called Community Sponsorship Hub. It's a nonprofit community sponsorship program. And USCCB partnered with it and through us and also four other cities initially, now three, decided to pilot this kind of Welcome Circles program. So in Cleveland, it's Catholic Charities Migration Refugee Services, and then in the other cities that we have Seattle, Boston, and Philadelphia. The Welcome Circles program specifically is group sponsorship. So while there are people in the United States who can absolutely do individual sponsorship, you know I encourage it. With Welcome Circles, it is very specific to groups. The groups would have to fill out two applications. So the first application is for USCCB and Community Sponsorship Hub. That is called the Welcome Circle application. In that, groups would have to get background checks, they would have to design code of conduct, they would have to complete trainings, and they would also have to create something called a welcome plan which is where everyone is mapping out how they're going to provide the resources that they are going to to the family. Now another application they'll have to fill out is called the I-134A Declaration of Financial Support. It sounds a lot scarier than it actually is. Now this is for the U.S. government because that is how Ukrainians can come to the United States through this application. It's not a legally binding document. So if someone were to sign it, they could not be held financially liable. It's just merely to get the process for the Ukrainians to come to the United States. One of my favorite memories so far has been working with the St. Joseph and Strongsville group. It was so nice to actually talk to Angela and Roseanne and when they were sharing their experiences about it, just, just how touched they have been through this experience, just a feeling of just such gratitude that they were feeling, you know, learning through this process, just the sense of, you know, being humbled by this process because it is going to be a little challenging, right? It's, there's going to be some risks involved, but working with the family and then just gaining that experience, it was so nice to hear from them about how much they are learning and going through this experience. My name is Angela Vera Soria and I am a co-lead with the St. Joseph Parish Welcome Circle in Strongsville. And we formed our circle in October of 2022. We first brought our family here in January of 2023. I'm recently retired, and this just seemed like a great opportunity to give back. I'm also a people person, so I really like to interact with other people. I myself come from a multicultural background. My parents are immigrants. I'm a first generation American. So I know what it's like for people that first come here to the United States. And certainly I wanted to help the people of Ukraine, you know, to escape the dangers of the situation they were in. I do have a favorite memory, and it was the first day the kids came home from school. When we picked them up from school, the parents were so excited to send their kids to school, to give them that stability and put them in a learning environment again. And these children were so ready to go to school and to have a routine and stability in their life. Everyone along this journey has been so incredibly kind and gone out of their way to help, and the school included. But these children, they just came home so happy, and that was very heartwarming for me. For anybody out there who's interested in, in this kind of kind of work, that you know, don't hesitate. If, if you have a passion for it, things will come together, and you know, you'll be able to pull it off. I firmly believe that it happened for us. It's hard work, but it's easy to do the hard work. I would encourage anybody who's who's out there willing to take on this process, explore it further, talk to Catholic Charities. What's really, really great about the Welcome Circles, and I think is a really good spirit of the Welcome Circles, is that you're doing it as a group. And not only that, you're doing it as a group, but you probably also, if you're with a parish or another organization, you are also working with people outside of just that single group. So Welcome Circles are this great opportunity to maybe do something that you've always wanted to do individually, but maybe didn't think was possible. But with the Welcome Circles, you know, you, you have those four or more people that you can really tap into those different expertises and reach out to their networks and really divide up a lot of those responsibilities so then it's not so overwhelming. And then you also are doing something together then that again, maybe you didn't think was possible on your own.